so I bought this six foot, well, when it's standing up, it's a six foot Monstera Anasonii um, that's infested with mealybugs. And my goal is to rehab this plant. The, um, I paid like 30 bucks for this plant. Um, I felt like that was very reasonable and I feel like I can bring her back. So I wanted a video of our starting point. I am about to, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see that this plant is definitely infested with mealybugs and some are very much alive. So I put a bag over this guy to get it to my house. Um, and then, and now we're about to go to work. So I just wanted to show you guys um, this plant and then we will do an update. There she is. And I'm gonna definitely get rid of that moss pole. Um, because I feel like eggs may be living inside. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, all right, so, so much for that. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is spray it down really good. So the next thing I'm going to do is I have my neem oil spray. It has neem oil, alcohol, lemon juice, peppermint oil, Dawn dishwashing, and alcohol. I'm going to spray this guy down really good. And I'm going to move her out of the sun. I'm going to do it a couple times. But we're going to start here. And then I am going to lose this moss pole the soil and the, um, well, the, mo the moss pole, the soil and the pot. I'm just gonna change that all out and just really don't want any eggs or larvae or anything hanging around. <coughs> so, give this guy a good spray down. She's looking better already. So that's treatment number one. So we're gonna stop here and just let her soak in all of this goodness and we'll come back in um, and we'll spray it again. Um, and then we will, um, before the sun comes out bright, we'll, we'll move her inside so that we don't burn the leaves. And then I'm gonna cut off all of the, the moss pole and I'm going to find something else to put her on until I can um, make a moss pole tall enough. Or I don't really wanna propagate this guy, but I kinda wanna just leave her tall. So I have to find something to put her on. So I'm gonna work on that in the meantime and um, we'll see. We'll keep you guys posted. So we're ready to try and cut her off of this pole.
and she's grown into it. It's unfortunate. Yeah, she's rooted into it. So I have the moss pole off of her and I've sprayed her down. So now I'm going to put her in a shaded area and um, just kind of leave her out to air out. Then I'll come out later and I'll spray her down again. Uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna spray her down with water one more time just to make sure we got all the that we can see and then we will um, spray her down with our solution again. So that's part two of our cleaning and we have two more parts. All right, so I'm trying to give her a temporary moss pole. Um, until I finish the cleanup. All the tall pieces. get a moss pole but I just wanted to get all of the tendrils up so that I can see make sure there's nothing lurking behind so I've got it pretty much up and that's pretty good it's not bad 
So we will um, just keep keep up with our treatment and of the mealy bugs. And I think we're gonna be okay. I tell you, she looks a lot better off of that moss pole and and you can really see um, you can take each limb and really get those eggs and get her cleaned up so that's pretty good okay so this is where we are now and I'll keep on my little hand truck here so I can move her around and um, continue to treat her for me. I think that's good for today and then we'll spray it again tomorrow and then we'll check her and take some alcohol rubbing alcohol and if there's any little white spots any eggs anything that we see we'll wipe that down and then I still want to keep her separate from the rest of my plants until I make sure that there are no um, mealybugs anywhere and I'll watch her very closely over the next couple months and just to make sure that we're, we're, we're in the clear. Um, but I believe she's going to do great. I'm anticipating her doing good and I'll keep you guys posted. Again, this is okay, so it's day two and I'm finalizing um, this girl. It looks all cleaned up and I want to put the moss pole in. I have a pretty long moss pole that I'm going to be putting in the pot. I uh, caution against changing the soil right now, but I did flush the soil, so I'm going to leave it. I just don't want to put her through too much shock. So um, we're going to just get the moss pole in and then we'll find her a spot to just continue to get acclimated to my space and then I just saw um, I just saw some more mealybugs so I'm gonna get some alcohol in a minute but I am going to go ahead and put the moss pole in but that's amazing all that cleaning and I, I found some down in the crevices down there so I knew that once I got her um, potted up once I got her on the moss pole, I would double check, but I didn't anticipate um, seeing any. I was trying to find the hole where the original moss pole was so that I didn't have to stir the roots. So this is the final place that my plant ended up. It's in a nice pot. It's not very sunny in here right now, but it gets pretty sunny in here. So it'll get that um, diffuse sunlight. And um, it's all cleaned up, but this way it's away from any of my other plants, which are there and on the backside of this wall. 
but I just wanted to show you guys the final setup and wish me well with this plant. Again, this is Jenny J and the Plant Friend. Thank you for joining me on this video. If you like it, please subscribe or give the like, like button and leave a comment at the bottom. If you've had a mealybug infested plant and you did very well with it, just let me know how your plant ended up. But I think this was a good buy. I even have room to continue um, at the top, maybe even let it um, trail on the wall there. But just wanted to show you guys. All right, thank you. See you the next time. Bye.